Okay. Let me just see if the audio is running. It is. There's no gameplay audio. Okay, there it goes. All right. So, here we are. Fucking today, if I can move this window out my way. There we go. Today, tonight, I should say, we are here. We are playing a game called Syrup and the Ultimate Sweet. Oh my fucking god, I feel like every time I press this record button, someone is making a bunch of noise. Every goddamn time. This might be the stream where I lose my... This might be the stream where I lose my shit. I might just rage. I might just end the stream right now. I might just do it. But, um... Anyways, back to happy times. So, I wanted to do something fun for Halloween. Right? Something fun. That's not like a scary game or anything like that. We did that already with like Scooby Doo on the channel. Um, but since unfortunately I don't think I'll be able to stream on Halloween Day, we're doing it right now. So this is Syrup in the Ultimate Suite. Apparently, it's a visual game novel. I think you can actually get this game for free. Um, I think it's one of those games where it's like you uh, you choose how much you want to pay to to play the game or have it. But I bought the game on, like, the PlayStation Store. It was, like, $2, $3, or something like that. I don't know what the hell this is about. This is my first time touching this. And just for added measures, I went to the little, little Twitch thing, and I was like, hey, let me just check, make sure this isn't some weird game where uh, it's secretly banned. But it seems okay, right? I hope it is. I really hope I'm not doing anything stupid here. So, I don't know what to expect going in here. I heard this game was short enough to do, like, like a one-off stream with it. It might just be short enough for us to finish it. And I swear to God, someone's banging on the walls in my background right now. For no reason. God, I'm gonna kill myself by the end of the stream. But anyways, let's get started, shall we? Syrup in the Ultimate Suite. What we got for options here? Unseen text. Well, let's head to text speed. I will guess I'll just put that up here. Fast forward time. We're not going to use that. Music. Sound volume. I think it's all fine. Right? Transitions. Why do I feel like I'm not... What? After choices. Oh, skip. Okay, so these are skip options. Okay. I was confused as, as fuck. I'm not even gonna lie. So, about. Let's see. Originally created for the Yuri Game Jam. What? For the Yuri Game Jam. What the fuck did I get myself into? Music by Mockoff. Story and art by. By. By Nom Nom Nami? Oh, okay. It's a 2015 game, I didn't know that. So, I guess we'll start the Yuri Game Jam. What the fuck did I get myself into already off the bat? Okay, let's see what we got here. I gotta lower my fucking headset. Sounds a little bit too loud. In a peaceful town of magic users, there's a shop that only sells ordinary non-magical candies, all tier sweets. Altair? Altair? Altair, probably. That's how you pronounce it. The owner is known as the Candy Alchemist, a firm believer in science as the superior art. Proud and stubborn, she continues to make magnificent candies in order to prove her case. But a magical surprise waits her basement workshop. Hmm. What is this thing? Good morning. How are you today? Uh, fine. I'm also fine. Pastel? Is that how you say that? I think that's how you say that. Pastel? Or pastelies? Or something? Can you come down here? Like now? Um, I would like... I would like it if you told me your name. I would tell you mine, but I was not given one. Syrup. Pastel, hurry up. You're Syrup. It's very nice to meet you. I hope we can be friends. Yeah, that's not happening. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, right off the bat, that's not happening. Pastel, get down here already. Syrup, 
It's very important that we get along. You stay away from me. I don't want you out of my lab right... I want you out of my lab right now. What is that you're holding? Huh? What's it look like? It's candy. You were eating? Yeah. That's the whole point of candy. To get eaten? I see. Then please eat me. What? What did I get myself into? What? No, you weirdo. But you have to. It's my purpose as candy. Don't eat the cute candy girl. I think I will refrain from that. I'm not eating you. Is there a problem? Please put me in your mouth. Okay. Oh dear. It's about time. Pastel, make her stop. I promise I taste good. Here, just start with the finger. I said no. I'm not gonna eat a person. It's too weird. I'm not just a person. I'm candy. You said the whole point of candy is to get eaten. Um... Sai? Why don't you just eat her then? Because she's not regular candy. I don't want to eat any magic candy that acts like it's human. If I did not act human, would you eat me? Nope. It's too late. I'm never eating you. Ever. Got it? No! Hey, don't give up. Maybe she'll change her mind one day. Don't encourage her. Whose side are you on? I will not give up. I will not get along with syrup. Wait, what? I will get along with syrup. If you want to get along so badly, stop telling me to eat you. Pastel, do something about this. Me? Yeah, you. It's your fault she's in here. What do you mean? I know exactly where this girl came from. Y you do? That rotten witch made her to, to torment me. This is all her stupid, elaborate prank. You forgot to lock the place up last night, and look what happened. Oh yeah, that's probably what happened. Oops, my apologies. Whatever, just hurry up and get her out of here. I got work to do. Yes, the important work of eating me. I said that's not happening. Syrup, you are going to, you're going the wrong way. Hold on. Hmm? You'll never be able to get along with her if you keep telling her what to do. Really? Yeah, can't you tell? She doesn't like it very much. You have to find out what she likes. Pastel, I can't help but notice that doesn't sound like you're trying to get rid of her. In fact, it sounds like the complete opposite. Alright, Master. I'll find out what she likes. Master? Maybe she means Master of Household? This is my store, not a house. If anyone's the Master, it's me. Should I have not called you Master Master? Um, just Pastel's fine. Master Pastel. Well, that's close enough. You, quit being so friendly with my assistant. And you, I thought I told you to get her out of here. Come on, Sai. She's not hurting anyone. You're forgetting it was the witch who made her, obviously as a prank or something. Just watch, she'll start wrecking my lab any minute. Hmm? I don't think she ever planned on wrecking anything, Sai. Are you saying I'm wrong? And that she's here for some other reason? Well, I don't know. I just think... You, Candy Weirdo, who made you? That is a secret. Figures, why are you here then? To get along with Syrup. See? Harmless. Shut your face, alright? Want to know the secret to get along with me? Yes. Stay out of my lab. But, let's give her some space for now, okay? Okay. Why is she only listening to Pastel? Stupid candy weirdo. One more batch of these, and shoot. I need more... more... what? Tar Tartarzine? I don't even know what the fuck that word is. Tartarzine? I don't know. Guess I'm taking my shopping break. Then every day after the cleaning's done, we take inventory. Running a store sounds like a lot of work. I have a newfound respect for you, Master Pastel. What is this? What are you doing? Oh, Sai. I'm teaching her how to run the store. I am helping. No, no, no. You were supposed to make her leave. Not reveal all our trade secrets. And why'd you dress her up like that? Would you rather she kept walking around naked? She needs a uniform if she's going to work here. She's not working here. I want to work here. <laughs> I want to work for Syrup. Let's get along. Cut it out. Why are you thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking, Pastel? What if she really was sitting here as a spy so the witch can ruin us? It's like you're just handing her our business. We could use the extra help. If she doesn't turn out to be Butterscotch's spy, I'll take full responsibility. So, can we keep her? 
Magic candy golems aren't pets, and I said no. I'll work hard to earn my stay. I'm very skilled with mental task. Wait, what? Mental? Menial task. It's true. She cleaned the whole place while you were down there, making candy. Look around, it's spotless. Hmm. She did do a good job. It even looks brighter than usual. Still don't like it. Alright, we'll keep her. Fine, she can work for one day, but after that, I want her out. Thank you, Syrup. I will not disappoint you. She's already started taking inventory by herself. What a hard worker. What are you smiling about? She's still your job at this rate. Ah, uh, slow down. Well, guess that's settled. I need to do some shopping. Wait. I want it, uh, wait, what? Oh, you waited. Thank you. Okay. I thought she was saying something else. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Master Pastel said that he will handle the inventory taking. If you're, if you're running errands, I would like to help. Sure, whatever. Fine, let's go. Huzzah! So what are you shopping for today, Syrup? Uh, Tartazine. I've never heard of that. Does it make your candy tastier? It's food coloring. It doesn't taste like anything. Oh, I was hoping we might buy some to make uh to make me taste better. <laughs> what the fuck am I playing? Why, Saul want to eat you? Yes. Well, you're out of luck. No matter what you taste like, I'm not eating you. Syrup, you're a very stubborn person. Yep. Here we go, Tartazine. Mission complete. Now we can make more. Now we can make more inventory for me to take. Sure, just don't forget you're only staying for one day. That's fine with me. I'll just have to become your friend before then. Oh, it's the Candy Alchemist. Nyan. Nyan. God. I, I, I want to kill myself now. Syrup, the kitty cat. Meow. Wait, what? M me wow. Really? Meow. God damn it. Where'd you get such an impressive golem? I thought you hated magic things, Nyan. What do you want? Gee, Whiskers. I'm not so rude as to decline greeting my master's rival when I see her. Salutations, Nyan. Oh, wow, polite. Nice to meet you, kitty. The name's Tofi, Nyan. And I won't... And what do you... Uh, blah, 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 I can't speak. And what do they call you, Miss Golem? I'm not... I have not... Uh, fuck! I'm reading so fast that my mind can't comprehend it. I have not been given a name. Yo, no. how sad for you. But really, Candy Alchemist, I'm very surprised to see this new friend of yours. Oh, I don't think we have become friends yet, but I'm working very hard at it. She doesn't look familiar to you. After all, it was your master who made her, right? Was it? I had no, I had no idea. You aren't following anyone? Wait, following. You aren't fooling anyone, cat. The rotten witch is the only one who tried to prank me like this. She made this golem to either spy on me or try to sabotage my business somehow. Sabotage your business? Master's your best customer, Yan. That doesn't make a lick of sense. I'm sure if she were here, she'd try to take responsibility for it, though. It takes some high level magic to make a thing like that, Yan. Which brings us back to my first po to my foist point. Wow. My first point. It's punny. <laughs> Fucking. I feel stupid playing this. Why is the candy alchemist, uh, who is who is outspokenly anti-magic, strolling around with such a unscientific creature, Nyan? I'll admit, you do have a point, cat. Take her home. Leave without her. Eh. If she were with me, that is, which she's not. But we came here to buy color food for your candy, remember? Like I said, she belongs to a certain witch who has to, who has it out for me. I don't associate with anyone who does magic or anything that was born from magic. Syrup. That's too bad. Maybe it was foolish to think she'd suddenly get over her bias like that, though, Nyan. You're welcome to come to my house if you like. Master would love to meet you, Nyan. No, thank you. I must keep trying. Goodbye, Tofi. Rats. Syrup hurries past the other shops, keeping her head down to avoid drawing attention. 
Her shop had always done just fine leaving anything magical out of the equation. She felt a tinge of regret at letting the golem stick around. When Syrup returned home, Pastel was waiting for her. Where's our candy friend? I don't know. Sigh, did you lose her in town? Maybe, Who? why'd you care? That's awful, we have to find her. You have fun with that. I know you don't like her, but isn't that a little mean? Even for you. Well, she's not my responsibility. If you didn't want her to get lost, you should have kept her inside. I didn't think you'd just leave her somewhere. Why are you getting so worked up over Candy? She's a person. I'm gonna go look for her. Mm. <laughs> Whatever, bye. <laughs> Fucking Syrup's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I guess. Pastel, wait up. Pastel and Syrup wandered the town in search of their sweet golem, finding it to be a little difficult to call out to someone who hadn't yet been given a name. Their search soon, soon stretches into the woods, home to recluse witches and the occasional monster. Hey, candy girl, you around here? With that level of enthusiasm, she's sure to come running. Well, what do you want me to do? I'm trying here. Hey, is that her? Syrup and Master Pastel appeared. You're okay. We were worried. What are you doing all the way out here? I'm lost. Well, now you're found. Let's go home, okay? Home with Syrup? That sounds wonderful. I'm just glad something didn't eat you up. Rats. And I was so close to luring her inside, Yan. And so the golem started living with Syrup and Pastel at Altio Suites. She became a mascot figure for the shop, boosting sales instantly. Gel, jelly, something, no. You'll think of something. I have faith in you, Syrup. What's going on over here? I'm trying to come up with a name for her. You're naming her? What happened to Candy Golem aren't pets? Well, I can't just keep calling her a candy weirdo. Technically, you could. No, we really should give you a proper name. How about Gumdrop? Gumdrop's a nice name. I think she likes it. Yes, I knew if it was Syrup, she, uh, she would pick something good. Milk chocolate? Excuse me? What the fuck? Hello, hello. The Chocolate Brothers are making their entrance. Okay. Milk chocolate and dark chocolate. What the fuck am I playing? Yes, we've heard your shop has gotten a lot more interesting as of late, so we decided to pop in. Hello, welcome to Altier Sweets. Oh, Candy Alchemist, you got sugar you got sugary golems for sale now? How charming. But if but if I were mistaken, isn't magic necessary in their making unless you found a way to create life through your alchemy? She's our assistant. I didn't make her. Oh, mysterious. I'm completely taken with her. May I offer you flowers, milady? Magic flowers? You're very good, sir. Can you not do that here? I don't want your magic dust getting all over my goods. You haven't changed one bit, Candy Alchemist. Our apologies. Syrup, you should not boss around these kind, well-dressed customers. Are you sassing me? It's my store. I'll do what I want. Hmm. Would you perhaps be interested in selling this one? She's quite adorable. She's not for sale. How much we talking? <laughs> It's a tempting offer. She's not for sale. She does a lot of work. You can buy any other candy in here, but this one's mine. Syrup, I'm delighted that you think of me as yours. Don't take it the wrong way. You just work for me. Your looks are good for business. What a shame. Golems are said to be such excellent servants. We've come to, uh, we come to want one for our own. You two can do magic. Make one yourselves. Oh, no, no. It's a very high-level spell that requires a focused passion. Even our combined powers couldn't result in anything close to that. I'm sure you could get it if you tried. Not that I know anything about magic. Well, well, well. We'll just have... We'll just have to give it some time then, hmm? Now, I suppose we should purchase something sweet and be on our way. Caramel sounds lovely, doesn't it, brother? We have that. Allow me to assist you at the register. She's so friendly, isn't she? I think she overdoes it. Whatever keeps customers happy, though. Hey, Pastel. Is it true not just any old witch can make a golem? Hmm. Well, 
You don't seem very many walking around, so that sounds about right. Penny for your thoughts? Just wondering what Butterscotch actual skill is when it comes to this kind of thing. When we found Gundrop wandering near her cottage, I took it as proof that they're in cahoots somehow. But now I'm starting to think it might have been a coincidence. Well, it's not like you said... Wait, what? Well, it's like you said. If Butterscotch didn't make her, then who did? She seems to listen to you. Do you know where I'm going with this? No. Ask her to tell you who her creator is. Since she won't tell me, you're my only hope, dude. Oh, I already asked when I was training her for work. No luck there, sorry. Ugh, I'll drag it out of her some way or another. To change the subject, I'm surprised to see you out of that basement during store hours. But was there any particular reason for that? Uh... Supervising Gumdrop. Looking after our new assistant. Hey, Gumdrop! Do you need something, Syrup? Let's do something together. I want to work with you today. In that case, I'm interested in learning about the process of candy making. Could you show me how it's done? So, you can steal my recipes? Not at all. I only thought it would make a nice bonding experience, but if you don't wish to... Nah, I guess I don't mind. Just know I got my eye on you. I'm definitely going to find out what your deal is. Bonding with syrup, huzzah! Right, well, you two have fun. Then after you pour in the syrup, you let it boil for a while. The temperature is different. The temperature is different depending on what kind of candy you're making. Syrup is the secret ingredient. Wait, what? Syrup is the secret ingredient? How fun. There's no secret ingredients. It's just regular hard candy. Is it still... Uh, it is still exciting. What comes next? Flavor. Then you pour it all out. Add some citrus acid and color and make it into whatever shape you want before it's cool and hardened. Rolling it over, uh, rolling around is kind of the fun part. Here, when this batch is ready, I'll give you some gloves so you can join in. Syrup, for these candies, I would like to use the color we bought together. Why did I read it like that? <laughs> I read it like a fucking robot. The hell is wrong with me? Okay. Oh yeah, yellow it is then. Hmm, ba da ba da. Does singing to the candy make it taste better? I'll join you. La la. No, singing has nothing to do with it. It's just kind of a habit I have since usually no one's down here with me. I think your candy's appreciated anyways. That's enough rolling. Let's wait for them to cool off. It should be ready now. Here, try it. Actually, wait. Would eating this make you a cannibal? I was not made with the ability to taste things, so I'll pass. Huh, what other senses are you missing? Taste is related to smell, which I'm also incapable of. You sound pretty cheery for someone missing out on some major sensory experiences, Gumdrop. I also don't feel pain, so being a candy person doesn't uh, does have its advantages. Hmm, guess it's just a matter of perspective then. So why'd you want to? Uh, so why'd you want to make candy with me if you can't enjoy any of it? It's just a spy on me after all. I did enjoy it. I know having a better. I now have a better understanding of where I came from. I didn't make you though. Well, still. But maybe your parts were actually made by me. That witch does buy enough candy from me, so it's definitely possible. If you would like to know for sure, you could always try a bite. Trying to trick me into eating you again. That's not gonna happen. It doesn't matter what you're made of. What I really want to know is who put you together. I cannot tell you that. I'm sorry. Figures. We're done here. Get that tray of candies to Pastel. I'm going out for a while. Syrup. Oops. She suddenly came out. Toffee. What do we do? Butterscotch. Cat. What are you doing creepily lurking outside my store? It really hurts my feelings when you don't remember my name, y'all. Don't dodge the question. And don't try to run away either. <laughs> Who's running away? This is a public road. We're well within our rights to loiter here. We came to see your golem, Yan. <clears throat> Tofi told me she was doing quite well in your hands. You know, the golem that I so magnificently crafted. Yep, your little spy is a pretty diligent worker. Makes it worth keeping her around. I was just here to check in on her. That's right. To see from her. Why is she drooling? <laughs> See for myself how diligent she's being at, um, spying up close. 
Unless you're gonna buy something, I don't want you at my store. I bought some dosh. I can buy your candy. Dosh. Is that the is that the currency here? <laughs> I can buy your candy if it means I can check out your <clears throat> my golem. Whatever, as long as you two behave yourselves. Oh, it's the kitty from the it's the kitty cat from before. Who's your friend? This is my master, the great and powerful witch, Butterscott. Be grateful she is gracing you with her presence, Neon. Oh, there she is. Such a beautiful gummy skin. And oh, if I could just try a bite of that hair. You haven't already? That's odd, considering you claim that you made her. That That's because I had to send her over in flawless condition. I showed a lot of restraint, you know, but it paid off. She's perfect. Now Master is at her limit. You should let her have a taste before she loses it, Nyan. Absolutely not. You can have any other candy in here except Gumdrop. How cruel! You just want to keep her all to yourself, don't you? I'll put up with it. For now. Just don't forget who the golem actually belongs to. Me! Yeah, yeah, enough whining. Just buy something and get out. And don't get any of your gross magic or drool on my stock. My magic isn't gross. And you should take this drool as a compliment. Come on, Tofi. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Next time those two come by... Come by, we should really just pretend we're close. Syrup, do you dislike Miss Butterscotch? She's a witch. You dislike witches? Some more than others, and Butterscotch is the worst, though. She thinks my alchemy has nothing on her magic, which is totally wrong, of course. Then why does she buy so much of your candy? Because no matter how hard she tries, her magic candies never taste as good as mine. She probably thinks if she eats enough of them, she'll absorb the knowledge. If she really thought her magic was better, I don't think she would support you by buying so many of your candies. You should be nicer to her. Whether or not she means what she says, it's her attitude that drives me up the wall. I'm just not capable of being nice to someone like that. What do you care anyways? I would like for Syrup to get along with everyone. Is that what your creator wants too? For me to be friends with Butterscotch so she can get free candy from me? That's not the intention. Sigh, don't give her such a hard time. She's working really hard for us. You were listening? Master Pastel, I don't think Syrup trusts me. What should I do? Don't worry, Gumdrop. Once she says you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Says? My bad, I misread that. Once she sees you're a good person, I'm sure she'll come around. Right, Sigh? We'll see. Gumdrop, what are you doing in my lab? Oh, Syrup. I'm organizing your bookshelf. Why? What are you even doing up right now? The store doesn't open for another few hours. I do not require sleep. Anyway, you shouldn't have come down here without permission and start moving my things around. I don't like it. Oh, may I come in and... You already did. But whatever. I guess it's fine. Syrup, I have noticed a trend with the books in your personal library. Oh yeah, what's that? They're all very boring. Gee... Thanks. Only one book is abnormal. It is the only one with references to magic. Magic? Throw it out. Wait, isn't this... Oh yeah, it's an old family cookbook. My grandma wrote it. I'm sensing high levels of nostalgia. Syrup's cold heart has been softened by memories from days long past. Yeah, yeah. See the page here? When I was a kid, making this was my dream. The ultimate sweet. A legendary conf... What? Legendary confection said to have only been crafted once before by the greatest alchemist in the world. Flavor rating, 100 stars. Shelf life, eternal. Those who partake in the sweet are blessed with great fortune. Upon consumption, a temporary enlightened state is emitted and you find yourself crying for reasons you cannot place. Obtaining the ingredients for the ultimate sweet requires both magical talent and mastery of science, making it exceedingly Making it is exceedingly difficult, if not utterly impossible, for one person to create on their own. The ultimate sweet? Is it yummy? Only the most delicious thing to ever exist. I used to tell Pastel I was going to make it one day so that he could taste it. But, like the book says, the main ingredient is impossible to find without magic. I guess I kind of gave up on it. Well, Pastel wanted to eat this. Wait, what? <laughs> I misread that. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore that for now. Yeah, a long time ago. He probably forgot about it by now. Syrup, we should make it. Uh, like I said, I had to give up on it. 
We can't make it without magic, so I don't want to. But we can axe, um, I mean, a witch can help us. Not happening. You should not give up on your dream. This is our chance to work together and get along even more. You're always going on about that. Are you obsessed with being friends or something? Precisely. Alright, candy weirdo. Let's figure out a way to make the ultimate sweet without magic. Good. And we'll master pastel eat, and while master pastel eats it, you can eat me. I said it for a thousand times, I'm not eating you. Disappointment. Come on then. We'll need to do some research before we go out gathering ingredients. Alright, keep an eye out for any encyclopedias about plants. Candy Alchemist, what a surprise. And you bought the new assistant. To what do we owe the pleasure? It is the well-dressed twins from yesterday. Are you also looking for books? No, my dear. Our family owns this library. Really? Huh. You ought to have known the... Uh, non? What the fuck? You ought to have known that. Certainly you lived here long enough by now. We're always dilly-dallying, so if you're looking for something in particular, allow us to direct you to the proper shelves. How convenient. We need information on a certain plant, so if you could help me speed up the process, we appreciate it. Glad to be of assistance, Candy Alchemist. We look forward to tasting whatever it is you're synthesizing. All of the plants in the books look so interesting. I would like to see some of them in person one day. It's got stuff from all over the world. We had to travel pretty far to even see half of these. Traveling with Syrup? We would definitely become great friends if we went on a long journey together. Hopefully for this thing, we won't have to go that far. Oh, this page. This is exactly what we need. Frosted cream cremella? I gotta take a drink of my water. My fucking throat is getting super dry. <clears throat> Alright, back to reading. A rare species of vanilla orchid that that mercuriously thrives in frozen environments. This magical plant will melt into ordinary water when removed from colder climates, but it's a fruit uh its fruit can last up to three days, depending on storage temperature. Because it inexplicably grows from cry cryotic soil, cryotic soil, cryotic, eh, I can't say that word for some reason. You know what I mean? Cold. Ice. Free. Burr. Ice. Ice baby. It is believed by some cultures to be born from the tears of an ice goddess. Ooh, that sounds fancy. According to this, we should be able to find it on Mount Sorbet, but, but... It's impossible. We definitely need magic to even have a chance at finding it. So, we'll ask the witch to help us. I'm sure Miss Butterscotch would. Absolutely not. Then how do you plan to get the final ingredient? <sighs> Look, it's not gonna happen. That mountain is home of tons of monstrous beasts, and it's, a fr and it's freezing cold. I'd probably die if I went on it, if I went on my own. I shall accompany you, Syrup. You wouldn't be able to move in the temperatures. You're made out of candy, remember? I'll be fine if you keep me warm. Just put me in your mouth and... Stop. We're not going. Who would ever go to such crazy extents just to make some special dessert? Kind of a waste of effort, if you ask me. You're right, Syrup. It is silly. Let's quit. Are you angry? Nope. Master Pastel would not even know what he missed. Uh, that he missed anything. It really was just a waste of time. Gumdrop? Absorbed in thought, Syrup takes her time returning home. Was it worth it to deny her friend what could surely be the most delicious treat in the world, just to hang on her stubborn pride? She had never thought about it before. Asking a witch for help seemed impossible for a variety of reasons. But soon, she might just have to. A sigh. Where have you been all morning? Out. Fair enough. If you see Gundrub, could you ask her to run the register for a while? Business has been packing, uh, my bad. Business has been picking up, so I actually need the help. She isn't here? Uh, I thought she was with, with you. You didn't lose her again, did you? No. I, I might know where she went. Just keep working, don't worry about it. I'll be back. Not like I have any other choice. Oh well. Meow. It's the Candy Alchemist again. I need your help. You're the only person I can ask. I don't want Pastel to know anything about this. Oh. What is it? Something serious? Need to bury a body? No. 
Gum drop ran off. I think she went to Mount Sorbet to get a rare ingredient for this thing she wants to make. Whatever you guys don't need to know details. Ah, so that's where she's going. I saw her pass by and wondered, yeah, and wonder, wow, Nyan? Hmm. What? Why didn't you stop her? Uh, I greeted her, but the girl was on a mission. She barely even told me where she was, where she was padding off to. She just pointed to the mountain and said, "That way." You should know I have a pop. God, fucking these cat puns are killing me. I have a parsley. Parsley. What? Oh, a policy. Wow, that really got me. I have a policy of never asking too many questions. Curiosity only leads to trouble for folks like me. Useless cat. At least that confirmed she was definitely going to that direction. I wonder how far she got. Did you do something ba uh, did you think- so Wow. Did you think something bad happened to her? What if she got eaten along the way? If it's too cold, she won't be able to move. And if she doesn't come home, Pastel will get all upset and probably blame me for it. She wants me to make this special recipe for him. And if she knew she was only trying to get the last ingredient because I said I wouldn't go, well, I guess I blame you too. Say no more. I'll help you find dear sweet gumdrop. But only if you give me a taste of whatever it is you're planning on making. This was a terrible idea. Sure. Fine. I need magic anyway, so I might as well use you. One taste. That's it. Well, negotiate. We'll negotiate the terms later. Let's go get your candy back. What about you, cat? Feel like climbing a mountain with us? Yeah, thanks. This place is all snow and dog. Uh, that place is all snow and dogs. I can hardly stand the thought of it. I'm a city dweller at heart, Yelm. Just wait right here for us, Tofi. We'll be back before you know it. Be safe, Nyan. I hate the cold. It's not that bad, but I guess it's different from someone who's not protected by magic. How about I bury you in the snow to see what your magical protection does against that? Oh my dear, Candy Alchemist. Aren't we supposed to be partners on this little quest? You can't talk that way to your party member. Let's go get it. Let's just get along. Ugh, not you two. Hmm? Come drop always insisting she wants to get along with me. Why do I need to get along with anyone? Why can't I just do the things on my own without anyone without annoying people trying to befriend me? Annoying? Ahem. <laughs> I didn't say we should be friends, I just think it'd be best if we cooperate. Fair enough. This place can be pretty dangerous. I've read there's ferocious wolves that gang up on you and rip you to shreds. Wolves? I'm not afraid of any wolves. How about a whole pack? Do you think you can take them out with your magic? It, easily. Oh, really? You're trembling. That's just because of the cold. Hey, what's that up ahead? I is it a wolf? A monster? Syrup, do something. I think we found Gumdrop. She's completely frozen. I wonder if she's conscious right now. Hey, Candy Idiot. I told you this would happen if you came here. You're lucky we found you. So someone was looking for her. W wolf Butterscotch, you're being rude. I've been watching this golem for a while now, wondering if anyone would show up to fetch her. Huh? You live around here? Mm-hmm. We actually came to find a special plant. Do you think you could take her to your house to thaw while we go get it? I promise we won't be too long. Psst. Syrup, what if he eats her? Uh, dogs don't really have a sweet tooth, right? I prefer meat. See? Nothing to worry about. This way is a lot more convenient than taking her all the way home and then having to hike all the way back here for one little plant. I don't mind taking her in. Seeing her frozen in place for so long was kind of sad. We don't even know who you are. Why should we trust you with something as valuable as, as living candy? Treat. Huh? It's my name. Now we're acquainted. Alright, Butterscotch. Do you have any? He's a dog named Treat. I like that. I don't know why I like that. That's cool. Uh, do you have any other problems? Or can we get going now? N no, no. Glad that's all settled. Let's go find your rare ingredient, whatever it was, and go home. Sorry, she's more of a cat person. Syrup, right? I smell a pretty powerful spell on that witch. Is she really okay to be up here wasting that much magic? A spell? I don't know what you're talking about. 
I guess ordinary humans can't sense uh, that kind of thing. It's plain as day to me. Anyway, it smells like something's useless. Wait, what? It smells like something useless. Tell her to concentrate on survival. I want to be able to return her, uh, your golem a uh, later. I just had like a whole stroke reading that. What the fuck? Sure, thanks. After receiving directions from Treat, the pair continues up the mountain. Sheer felt at ease knowing Gumdrop was safe, but Butterscotch seemed to be having a rough time. Things only got worse as they ran into trouble. Menacing growls. Grrr. Uh, I'm a real wolf! What are you doing? Scare it off with your magic! Uh, t t take this, monster! Woof! You turned it pink! That was supposed to be a fireball. I don't know what happened. Either way, I guess it worked. Lucky break. Butterscotch, you wouldn't happen to have, like, a curse on you or anything, right? R rude. I'm not c c cursed. I'm completely fine. I just lost focus and messed up. It happens to everyone. Your teeth are chattering. What happens to your magic protection against the cold? It's windy. And maybe I'm not as strong as I thought. Are you happy? Chicken deal. <laughs> you want my coat? Uh, you want my coat? Wh what? No, you need it, don't you? I can make a sacrifice if it, if it means you'll talk normally again. Thanks for not... Uh, uh, thanks. You're not as mean as I thought. Grrr. It came back with more! Time to go. Syrup and Butterscotch escaped into a frozen cave. The witch hastily sealed the entrance with ice, forcing the wolves to abandon their chase. Exhausted, the pair takes a well-deserved rest. Hey, you alright? No, this is awful. I should've stayed home with Tofi, where it's safe and warm. Well, at least we should be able to find what we're looking for in here. This is the exact environment Frost... Frosted Cremella uh, thrives in. I need to have a moment. <laughs> God. I'm reading nonstop. <laughs> you can't just chill here if you want. I'm going further in. What, you can't? You can. I dare you make a joke in a time like this. You're as bad as Tofi. Syrup, wait. Don't leave me alone. Wow. Yep, found it. Jerk. You can leave me behind like that. Oh, is uh oh, is that what we came for? Yeah, I just need to grab some of the fruit and we can go home. Good. Grab a ton so we never have to come back. Take all you can carry. Take only what you need. Mm. I'll take only what I need. I don't have any use for this many, and if I need more, we got experience now. It won't be nearly as much trouble for us a second time, right? You want to go through all this again? I don't know. I think we made an alright team. But all I did was mess up. We got we got what we came for, didn't we? Well, let's get out of here. Um, hey, you look really cold. You should take your jacket back. Huh? Nah, don't worry about me. You're smaller. You need all the warmth you can get. I don't feel right hogging it. It's your jacket, so just take it back already. If you insist. Alright. Magic the ice away so we can get out of here. Alright, take this! Uh, nothing happening. Quit messing around and break the ice. What? What if the wolves are still there? I don't hear them or see their shadows. We should be fine. Right. Okay, for real this time. Yeah! Is something wrong? I'm just stressed out. So my magic's not working right. Shut up. So we're trapped in here. No, we're not trapped. I'm a great witch. It's just this stupid spell doesn't want to happen. Okay, we're a little trapped. Magic is connected to your state of mind, right? Try to calm down. Calm? I'm calm as frick. Butterscotch? Everything's under control. My emotions are completely in check. And my magic should be working just fine. Butterscotch? What? Talk to me. What's wrong? I don't know. It's cold. What if I can't get out of here, and we're gonna die because of me? No, you're a great witch, remember? We'll make it. But I can't even get this spell to work. Sealing the cave was an accident in the first place. I panicked and I just... Hey, you'll get it. 
You got talent. If you can make gumdrop, you can melt ice. So just take a deep breath and try again. I didn't. Huh? I didn't make gumdrop. I don't know who did. I just took the credit to, to make myself look better. Sorry you thought wrong. Stupid ice. Stupid wall. Stupid, stupid. Stupid ice. Butterscotch, is your magic still going haywire? Because you look different. What? Oh, my spell came undone. Don't look at me. This is my body. It's just an illusion. It's not the real me. And that's not very convincing. So, this is what she meant. The wolf girl from before told me... Treat was a girl? I thought that was a dude. The wolf girl from before told me you were wasting all your magic with some useless spell. It's not useless. I need it. I can't let anyone except Tomfi see me this way. Please don't tell anyone. Why do you hide behind the transformation all the time? People don't take you seriously when you look like I do. I want to be a beautiful, fearsome witch that everyone admires, but instead I'm... Your... What? Did I press something by accident? Uh... What just happened? It's not useless. I, I need it. I can't let anyone... Say, what? Did the fucking... Did the thing just repeat itself? Okay. Why do you have to find a transformation all this time? People don't take you seriously. Yeah, okay. Your... Everything about me is fake, alright? I'm almost lying to everyone. I'm barely any good with magic, and I can't even bear to let anyone see what I really look like. And now you're gonna die because I'm because I'm a big fat coward who can't never tell you the truth. You happy? Well, say something. Aren't you gonna yell at me? Don't you hate me? Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> I so wanna pick this option. No, that's cool. I don't hate you at all. Butterscotch, I never have. What? What are you saying? Sometimes I wonder why we're always fighting, and I guess it's because that's the way we are. But it's not like I ever actually hated you. You're lying. Why would I lie? There's no point since we'll both be dead soon enough. Unless we figure a way out of here, that is. But I mean, I thought you hated everyone who does, who does magic. You do, don't you? That's not it. I just... I think that being able to do things without magic takes an incredible understanding of the world and its elements. And that's awesome. So when it feels like no one else sees that, I get frustrated. Maybe I don't trust magic users in general, but still... No, I've never hated you just for being a witch. What? Why are you staring at me like that? Aren't you at least going to make fun of me for looking like this? Why should anyone care what you look like? It's not their business. You're not hurting anyone. Who cares? You just don't get it. Everyone thinks you're cool and you don't, have, you don't even have to try. You don't know what it's like. Hey, I try hard to be taken seriously too. Everyone sees my alchemy as a gimmick. It's like I'm doing cheap tricks compared to anyone else in the f town full of magic users. Well, anyone can make decent candy with magic, but yours tastes the best. Of course they do. I'm a genius when it comes to candy making. Jeez, you're so confident. I have to be. Otherwise, I'd just, I'd just give up and do something boring with my life instead. Hey, remember the day we first met? When I came into your store to make fun of how bad your alchemy would make candy taste? But then you forced me to try a piece? And you were so impressed that you begged me to teach you how to make them? But I was still mad, so I refused. And you declared us rivals? Yeah, I remember. Ha! <laughs> I just think, maybe if not for our big egos, we could have become friends sooner. Yeah, maybe. Thanks, Syrup. I feel a lot better. My magic might work now, so I'm gonna give it another shot. With her mind at ease, Butterscotch finally... Butterscotch is finally able to focus and melt away the wall of ice that had trapped the pair in the cavern. They make their way back down the mountain without incident. Without incident? Without... Yeah, without incident. Why did I stutter? <laughs> to an unfrozen and very uh, relieved gumdrop. Eager to get working on the ultimate suite, they promptly return Butterscotch to her cottage. Tofi, I'm home. Our mission was a success. Master! Oh, your spell. I know, don't worry. It's a long story. I'll tell you later. 
You have dogs sent on you. Those wolves didn't give any trouble, did they? Yeah, I should have went with you. I was just being a scaredy cat. Aw, hey. It went just fine. Calm your whiskers. You were worried about me? Why wouldn't I be? You went on a dangerous mission with your greatest rival. A lot could have gone wrong, Yan. Guess we probably shouldn't say anything about almost freezing to death then. What? What? She's joking. She's joking. Anyways, I shouldn't keep Gumdrop waiting outside. See ya. Hey, before you go, there's one more thing I could tell you about. I promise you won't hate me. Yeah, I promise. Okay, I... I, what, oh my god. I, dad, what? <laughs> what? I've been using this crystal ball to spy on you in your lab sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I'm really sorry. What? Here, take it. I won't use it anymore. I know it was bad, but if I wanted to try to learn how to make candy so I could do it myself. But your science is just too confusing and I couldn't figure it out at all. So it was all for nothing. I'm really, really sorry. Um, thanks for telling me, I guess. You don't hate me? I said I wouldn't. Phew. I wasn't sure how you take it. I thought maybe he'd be a lot madder. Well... We did just get back from near-death experience. The fact that you've been spying on me seems kind of inconsequential after that. Yeah, but there's one, uh, but there's this one night recorded on there. I'll, I'll, I think you'll probably want to see it. Huh? What night's that? What happened? Just watch it later when you get the chance. It's important. Okay. Syrup, are you ready to return home and finish the ultimate suite? Yeah. Sorry for keeping you waiting. Later, Butterscotch. Don't forget to bring me uh, some when it's done. I won't forgive you if you don't. If I don't get a taste. Yeah. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh wait, what? Did I click something? I think I might have clicked something. There we go. Hey, we're back. It's late. I'm starting to get really worried. I'm sorry to have worried you, Master Pastel. But we're working on a top secret surprise, so we'll tell you all about our adventure when it's finished. A surprise? Okay then. I'll hold off on asking where you've been all this day. We'll be downstairs, so don't come in until we're finished working, alright? So, the surprise is a special treat. I should have guessed. Just try not to stay up all night. I know how you get when you're working on something big. I don't need you giving me a bedtime. I'll sleep when it's done. Syrup's enthusiasm for desserts is unmatched. Let us begin our work. Syrup and Gumdrop retreat to the basement, spending hour, uh, spending hour after hour preparing the ultimate suite. Finally, all this, all that's left is to let it chill overnight. We did good, Gumdrop. Thanks for all your help. I'm glad I could be of assistance. I cannot wait for Master Pastel to try it. Yeah, me too. You stay here and keep an eye on things. I'm gonna go pass out. Roger that. I'll see you in the morning. Now's a good time to watch whatever's on this thing. Mm. Sure, why not? Let's see what Butterscotch wanted to show me. Pastel, you sneaky little bitch. <laughs> and that should be it. Did it work? Are you alive now? Maybe I messed up the spell. Hello, Master. What's your command? Oh, you're working. I did it. Please issue a command. Right, right. Um, I didn't think this through. What's the best way to explain? Okay, I have this friend. She's not very sociable and has kind of a thing against magic, so it's really hard for her to make friends here. Please issue a command. Yes, yeah, sorry. I guess what I'm asking is, maybe you could try, even though you're made of magic, you're also candy, so it should be okay, I think. Unable to process. Please state your command clearly. Ah, I really should have thought this through better. Um, please try to get along with my friend Syrup. Unable to process. Please provide instructions on how to get along. Well, first of all, the way you talk is really unnatural. Try speaking more casually. You know, be friendly. Oh, how's this? Better. Keep talking. Um... I still don't understand what you want me to do, Master. It sounds too complicated. I'm sorry. I know golems aren't usually used for this for things like this, but I didn't have much of a choice. My friend hates talk, uh, talking to magic users. 
Speaking of which, she absolutely cannot know that I made you. She still thinks I'm just like her and can't use magic. Okay, I'll work hard. Right now, I think you're doing great. Just keep acting like a regular person, and you'll be friends with her in no time. Acting like? Yeah, even though you're made out of candy, it feels like I'm talking to a real human. Just keep being yourself. Be myself? Yep, consider that to be your main objective. Hopefully it's simple enough. Act human. But I am candy. Hmm? Be myself. Act like a person. I am candy. But act. Whoops. Maybe it was too complicated. Be candy. St stop. Hmm. Did I break you? Looks like I messed it up again. This one seems so promising. I probably have a better luck getting Sai to talk to it, uh, talk to other magic users than getting a golem to work right. This is a lot of candy to go to waste though, I guess I'll take her apart and... But this is the only... This is, uh, this one actually talked to me. She was sentient. Hey, if I give up now, would it be like I killed you? Nah, uh, I won't give up on you. I won't give up on Syrup either. You're gonna be friends somehow, I swear it. Syrup is still awake. Why did I read it like that? Syrup is still awake. He was very lonely. It was very lonely down there, so what is it that you're holding? Has still made you? Huh? No! You absolutely cannot know that! Why not? Master Pascal said you hate talking to magic users, so you absolutely cannot know. Forget, forget! Okay. Okay, I forgot. You really forget? Yeah. You were made by that rotten witch had a, has an elaborate prank, right? Yes. And not Master Pastel. He has nothing to do with it. I know. It was that witch, not Pastel. That good for nothing would have known the first thing about making magic golem. Master Pastel is not a good for nothing. But other than that, you were exactly right. Hmm. <laughs> oh man, Syrup is laughing. Why? It's just funny. He made you exactly my type. Well, aside from your weirdo personality. Hey, he did not make me. You said you forgot. All right, I forgot. For real this time. But now I'm gonna have to thank Butterscotch instead. Are you grateful? Yeah, I thought it was okay with just having Pastel around, but making a new friend was kind of fun. Friend? Do you mean that at last we are getting along? I think we've been... I think we have been for a while now. Then my task has complete. You're only telling me uh, just now? I didn't know it was your task until a bit ago. Sorry. Oh, Master Pesto will be so happy to hear this. We must inform him right away. Wait. Hmm? I have a few questions for you about what you are. You were only following Pest your creator's orders and, act and acting friendly towards me, right? Doesn't that mean it's all kind of fake? After you tell me if we've been getting along and he says that's enough, then is whatever's this is just over? Would you like to hear the honest answer, sir? I don't know. At first, I thought you were a very pushy and selfish person. I worked very hard to be as friendly as I could, but I think that also makes me pushy and selfish like you. But there are many times you've been kind to me when it did not serve you to do so. You also worked hard for Master Pastel to make the ultimate sweet. I was instructed to act as a human, although I am candy. Maybe that means that I'm not capable of sincere feelings, but you have always treated me well despite that. I would like to prove to you that I can also defy, uh, defy ex expectations. Gumdrop. Now I'm going to go wait by Master Pastel's bedside so that I may tell him the moment he wakes up that I have achieved getting along. No, don't do that. It's creepy. Understood. To avoid seeming creepy, I will stand here in the dark until he comes downstairs. <laughs> what the fuck? The way you put that sounds creepy too. I guess you can't help it though. Huh. This is creepy? That is creepy. I just cannot win with you. Syrup, you should go to sleep and not worry about how I pass the time. Alright, alright. See you in the morning. So, how was it? It's... It's the best thing I ever tasted. Whoever came up with this recipe wasn't kidding around the ultimate part. Hmm, I completely agree. 
I feel sort of bad that Gumdrop hasn't, uh, doesn't have any taste buds to experience it with. I'm just happy to see the two of you are enjoying it. I'm happy too. I thought you forgot about the promise to make this, uh, blah, 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 I can't speak. <laughs> I thought you forgot about your promise to make this for me, Sai. Thank you. Ah, I'll start getting all sappy over nothing. Gumdrop's the one who reminded me. Serving Master Pastel is the utmost importance. Shh, don't say things like that. You don't have to be so nice to me. He's right. If you're too soft on him, he'll stop working so hard. Unacceptable. Now that I think of it, I actually have an errand for you. Uh, take a look. Take a survey of this stuff to Butterscotch, okay? I promise to let her have a taste. How generous of you. I'm happy to fulfill a request so nice. So, Gumdrop, what do you want to do now that your uh, main objective is taken care of? Huh? Master Pastel has not given me any other, other orders. I'm not talking about any orders. I mean, what do you want to do with your life? Well, I was only created the other day, so I don't... So I do not know what to do. Uh, what do you think I should do? I can't see... I can't see the one... Wow. I can't be the one to decide that. Or else it defeats the entire purpose. I just can't imagine you want to stay here and spend all your time working. Hmm. Yes. It would be unfortunate if I didn't get a, if I didn't get to see all the wonderful things in those books from yesterday. But most importantly, I would like to continue to strengthen our bonds, Syrup. I think Master Pastel would be pleased by that. Then maybe we could go traveling together. You brought it up before. But actually thinking about it now, we definitely should. But we could not possibly leave the store intended. Pastel is better at running this place than I can ever be. If you leave instructions for making the candy, I'm sure he'll do just fine on his own. And he can always hire someone in town if he needs help. Even a, even another witch if he has to, considering he's been one he's been uh, he's been one all along. I got no right to complain. No, you're not supposed to know about that. Remember, please forget. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I won't mention it anymore. So, what do you say? Want to go on a journey together? Hmm. Yes, I would love that. And so, Syrup dismissed Gumdrop from her job as shop assistant, and they began traveling the world together, selling candy along the way. Pastel happily kept the store running on his own, and studied Syrup's note on candy making very closely to ensure they would, uh, there would be no drop in quality while Syrup was away. Butterscotch felt a little lonely with her rival out exploring the world, but at least Toffee was there to keep her company. Gumdrop end. Aw, that was nice! Super actual special thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. So apparently this game has multiple endings. We could do that, right? There's a gallery. Characters. Aw, oh, that's a nice little sketch of syrup. Let's not let's not stay on that page for too long. I don't want fucking I don't want uh I don't want Twitch killing me for partial nudity, I guess. Oh, I like the sketch. Oh, the sketch is pretty cool. That's amazing. <laughs> the chocolate twins. Dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Oh, milk, cho milk chocolate's a girl. I thought they were both dudes. There's Treat. Oh, that's fun. Illustrations. Guess these are the backgrounds. Oh, this is locked. Okay. Oh man, that means there's a... How much is there in total? 34. Let me see. Okay. That's a nice amount. What about extras? Oh, look at that. That's adorable. Syrup in the ultimate suite. All of that syrup looks badass. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Nyan nyan. This is nice. I like all this artwork. That's great. I like that. Backgrounds. We're missing one background. Alright. Well, that was fun. How long did it take for me to do that? Let's see. Took about like an hour. Huh. 
I heard it was a short game, but I didn't think it was this short. <laughs> I mean, we can always go back and, um, hint an ending fit for an Ice Queen. What? So that means, like, I can just be, like, an asshole to everybody, I guess? <laughs> I mean, I assume it wouldn't take that long to get a completionist run on this game, but that was fun. I like that. That's a nice little, uh, little thing. So, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think that, um... I don't think I want to sit here and, like, go through, uh... And go through uh, the other endings and stuff because most of it, usually with like a visual novel, most of it is um just speeding past a bunch of stuff and just choosing the options you didn't choose and just checking up on that. But I don't think that would be unless unless it was like in a let's play format. I don't think that would be good for like a live stream. So I guess I'm gonna end it here with Syrup in the Ultimate Suite. I didn't think the game would be this short. I, I thought it would be at least like two hours, right? So, let's see. I think right now what we're going to do, I'm going to, we're going to take a bit of a break because I got to use the bathroom and then I'm going to switch the game up. And this is, this was nice for a little one off. I'll, I'll revisit this on my own time. I liked it. I liked it a lot. So. Right now we're going to take a break, but for the people who are going to be watching this on YouTube, thank you for checking out the video. I greatly appreciate it. And hope you had a lot of fun. It was a nice little Halloween time treat. Not, not you know, pun not intended there. But I liked it. I enjoyed it. It is nice. The artwork is great. The music is nice and cheerful. And the writing is, the writing is actually pretty good for like a nice little, little adventure. I liked it a lot. So... As of right now, I'm going to go use the bathroom. Uh, again, people who are watching on YouTube, thank you for watching so much. And I'll see you in the next video. I'm a chef, chef too.